How big is your heart? From the agony crucifixion of the cross to the bliss crucifixion of the crossing. I am Christina Tehel. Here I recapitulate pivotal sections of first principles in direct quotes from Dr. Mark Offney or Barbara Marks Hubbard woven together from the prior week's One Mountain, Many Paths broadcast. In the new world, in order to actually have a new world, in order to actually have a tomorrow, there needs to be a group of us who say, we are going to actually look at the whole thing. We're going to actually understand that we are challenged in a way that we've never been before. That actually existential and catastrophic risk are real. Whether there's ecosystems or governmental systems or nuclear waste systems or dead zones in the ocean systems or runaway artificial intelligence systems, systems begin to collapse. So can we join our hearts? Can we enter the depth of truth and hearts and just throw away the kind of public ways that we talk? And can we just enter into the truth and the heart of all the time, for real, all the time? We have to actually articulate a new politics of eros and a new politics of outrageous love. We're here to come together, to actually look in each other's eyes. And we say to each other, revolution, revolution. We come together, we face each other, heart to heart and mind to mind, and we say evolution. And we begin to chart the personal, collective and cultural path from a politics of polarization to a politics of meaning. Think about a politics of meaning, which is a politics of eros and a politics of outrageous love. So in this revolution, in this commitment to the crossing, in this commitment to know that we are literally at a unique moment in history, we are at a moment that we've never been in before. And homo amor, the fulfillment of homo sapiens, never looks away. So we turn to the cosmocentric force of meaning in the world that is more personal than our most personal relationship. And our role in this wild cosmos is to demonstrate for the cosmos, what does it mean to evolve? What does it mean to transform? What does it mean to birth a new human and a new humanity? We are here to be extraordinary. We're here to be the leaders because this is ours to do. In this generation, we are at the center of what we call a band of outrageous lovers that are here literally to love it all open to birth homo sapiens into homo amor and to be the beacon to each other and to the galaxy, to this wild cosmos that's all about to start finding each other in a new way. And we've got to forgive ourselves for the crosses of our lives, for the agony crucifixion and go from the cross to the crossing to the bliss crucifixion of reality's arrows shimmering alive and awake in us, calling us to play our unique instrument in the unique self-symphony. That's what it means to be alive. So we are going to cross to the other side. We're going all the way in this lifetime.